I like, I like the dart I have it now, though. Okay. Get some master work. Knuckles. Still not better than what I <clears throat> Kill. Wave of light. I like that you can step on like spiders and stuff, like the little tiny spiders. Have you noticed that? Like, find one of these little spiders and step oh, on them. Yeah, it's awesome. You can do that with like s snakes and scorpions, like all throughout the game. It's awesome. I disturbed the mama. Dude, I just dropped a bell on this fucking head. Oh, you got the bell spell? Yeah. That's a cool spell. The monk has some cool abilities. The witch doctor has like the best ones though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> those are some pretty cool abilities, but I'm not gonna lie. No, dude, for, for real. Like, wait, what? Well, Kanye West action there. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, Beyonce. Beyonce deserved that album. No, like, like I've I've played the Barb and I've played the Wizard now, and I've seen people who are like high level Barbs and Wizards and stuff. Um, and the Witch Doctor just has the coolest abilities, like summoning like these massive creatures of like Got him. <laughs> doom and stuff. I don't know. It's awesome. Okay, cool. That was a lot of stuff. Alright, let's get a guy. Oh, dude, I got a tribal mask for you. Uh, do you have magic boots right now? Ye oh, you've got yep. dexterity boots. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the keep that. Uh, I don't need those. You got a mask for me? Oh, I've got a magic mask right now. Someone help me! Oh, this guy's so boned. Ah, oh, I tried to help him. Oh, I got a winged it all. Winged a doll. Intelligent. Yeah, I like my intelligence. So here's my number. <coughs> Drop these boots. Keep that winged a doll for now. I hope we're going in the right direction. <laughs> Is there any way to tell if your items are better than uh, one another before you pick them up? I think there's like an option that shows the stats of an item on the ground. Um, in, in like gameplay or something, but I'm not going to turn that on because it's going to get so crowded when there's like lots of loot on the ground. Yeah. Chest over here. Big spider. Ooh, big chest over here. Resplendent chest. Damn it. <laughs> um, ooh. 
Yeah, two intelligence plus six extra gold for monsters. I have a I have a one-handed club here that does 13.7 damage per second and increases your attack speed by 4%. Do you want it? Uh, no, I got uh I got what I need right now, I think. Okay. I'm doing all right. Over here. So, here is my number. Call me possibly in the future at some undesignated point in time. There's gonna be a boss coming up soon, but it's super easy. Spoiler alert! Well, no, it's not even like a real boss, it's just like a mini boss. Yeah. It's not even related to the plot at all. Ah, oh, we went the wrong way. Oh no, wait. This is the right way. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shall call her. Oh god, these guys, these guys got lots of health. No big deal. Nothing ain't, for a boss. Hey, nothing to a boss, that's right. Look at how much damage my haunt does, it's so good. Look at this, they're just, they're not even, it's nothing, man. That haunt. <laughs> you explained how our relationship, me and yours, because I think people would get a little freaked out that we know we do everything like that. Do what? Like what? The exact same thing. Each other say everything. Oh, I don't know. We just do a lot of stuff online. Yeah. A lot of online memory. Oh, you leveled up, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Banish your zombie dogs and cause them to explode, which deal two three two hundred and seventy-five weapon damage. Cool. That's kind of cool. Weapon damage or two? Yeah. Two hundred seventy-five percent. Yeah. No, if it was two hundred seventy-five flat damage, that would just be like super overpowered in the early game. Super OP. Super OP. That OP. That's still pretty cool. Back to town. Town portal. Zoop. Whispers, who's this, by the way? Chung Li? Uh, I have the second piece of the sword. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. Must be worth them. Oh, brilliant, <laughs> dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Uh, Yeah, so I'm pretty much, I should be just about caught up. Oh, my whole Winamp library broke. Oh no. How'd that happen? Because I changed, we changed the name of the drive. Oh yeah, crap. It shouldn't be hard to fix though. Yeah, hopefully. I need to go the whole library? Yeah, because it was all, my whole library is on my... Destroying the town. Get out while you can. Yeah, destroying the town. I'll probably have to do some significant editing on this, just because, I mean, some of it's going to be boring for people watching since I already played through this part. That's okay, though. That's a-okay. I like how these guys focus your dogs for... Yeah, dude, that's, that's the best part of the dogs. Like, when I do my... When I do my hardcore Inferno playthrough, I'm definitely going to be running a Witch Doctor because with their freaking minions, it's so... Like, that's the only way you'd be able to survive solo in a hardcore mode. I run my monks like heal all the time. Well, hardcore is... I wouldn't run anything melee in hardcore because hardcore is where if you die once, it's game over. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, even more of a challenge. Well, that's true. I mean, if you want to try that, that'd be badass. So here's my number. So call me, maybe. That's right. Oh yeah. Look at this haunt damage. It's so good.
I just have to stand like over here and let them die. It's so cool. I hear something coming. Uh oh. Oh, you have a teleporter, so am I. Oh, dude, my dogs do so much damage. That's awesome. Slow mo. Did you just get that like slow mo? Yeah, that was weird. I got you some keen knuckles of slaughter. They're probably not better than what you have, though. Nope, but. You could always salvage them. It is not here. Yep. Why, you I don't understand the crafting of this game, I guess. What do you mean? I must get How do you do it? It's really, really easy. Um, you just salvage items. Have you been selling all your magic items? No, I've been keeping them. Yeah, um, make sure to salvage them all. You just come over here to the artisan. I'm back in town, by the way. You yeah. just come over to the Hedrig and use, his, <laughs> and use the salvage, which is like the anvil. Yeah. Click on the anvil, salvage whatever you want, and you'll get uh, different things. On normal, you get subtle essence and fallen tooth, and with that, you can um, you can craft new items. You can uh, you can essentially craft whatever you want. Okay, so I got some subtle essence. Costs a little bit of gold and some and some subtle essence or whatever type you're using. Alright. Did you... You declined that event? Yeah, it's like I finished doing this. Okay. I'm not sure if that messes with you or not. What's your current quest? Oh no, it does mess with me. Huh? It, yeah, it it starts the whole thing for me too. Oh, if that's I, that's dumb. What's the point of you declining it then? What? Well, wait, why did I decline it? Like you declined it so that you could keep doing your stuff, but then yeah. it still progresses you in the story, and you still like it doesn't essentially declining it is just like accepting it. That's kind of dumb. Um, basically what happened there was that Magda lady that you've been fighting, she killed oh. Deckard Kane. Oh. Yeah. That was, like, kind of a big plot element, but it's no biggie. You'll be able to see it the next time you go through a playthrough. That is impossible. Um. Alright, so now that I have some Fallen Tooth and some Subtle Essence, what can I do? You can, like, talk to talk to Hedrig or go over to the forge armor or forge weapons and you can forge whatever you want really um, it costs a little bit of gold but forge weapons he doesn't have he only has wands axes stuff. yeah you can upgrade him so that he has more stuff um, it's like the training option and then you can make more stuff with him so like go to craft and then train you can train him uh, for like a certain amount of money. And you can make more stuff that way. I'm gonna keep going to the next quest. Did you get it all figured out though? Yeah, no, I figured it out. Cool. And, and basically what you want to do is build up like a large amount of subtle essence and then repeatedly, you know, keep crafting a certain item that you want because uh, all the stats are going to be random on it. And once you get a really, really good one, you keep that and use it or you can sell it or whatever. And then you, you salvage all the other ones and keep doing that. So you, you get back a little bit of your subtle essence and you keep uh, recrafting things until you get the stats that you want. Uh. So now we're back to the exact place where we started. That didn't take too long.
Boon Plane just went by. Why do I have a crown over my head? Does that mean I'm a party leader? Yeah. Uh, nifty. Inspect. I can inspect you now. I couldn't inspect you the other day for some reason. Like queen, I uh, can't inspect you. You can't? No. Really? If you right click on my face up top, you can't inspect me? Oh, I can't now. Out here. Yeah, it's it's you have to be next to the person. Oh yeah, zombie dogs, exploding zombie dogs just wreck those things. So does up oh, blinding flash huh? So here's my number. Call me maybe. The ubiquitous spider is one of the oldest and most adaptable creatures in the world. It also seems to have acquired an unfortunate susceptibility to magic. When exposed, the arachnids will increase dramatically in size. Uh oh. Even cast spells. I'm losing health. Because I don't have my zombie dogs. Out of dark places whenever possible. I should probably get my heal back for this since it's going to be crowded in here. Ooh, I got a new dart. 